Hello, it's me, Nancy, today. Do you like my hat? Isn't that a cute hat? And then I've got this for the top. Isn't that great? Anyway, so, got a lot done this morning. I didn't go for my walk yet, but I moved a whole lot of wood, tidied up the yard, and now we're headed off. The missionaries are teaching someone, so we're headed off to be part of it. I'll update you later. Bye. Good morning. I haven't talked to you for a while. There's been a lot going on in my house. I can't believe how much Les is doing. He's painting the house, which means that bedrooms have to be moved out from the walls and closets have to be emptied. And <clears throat> things get emptied from one room into another. Boxes in the bottom of the closets have to come out. I tell you, this is some job. But it's really looking beautiful. I love my little room upstairs, my little breathing room slash spinning room. It's my splash slash violin playroom. It's my room of accomplishment. It's so nice in the daytime. I love to be in there on a cloudy day. On a sunny day, I like to be in the big bedroom upstairs where there's seven windows. Three up high on that side, one big one at the end, and two on this side. So four of those are new windows. Really wonderful. I love it. Anyway, so on a sunny day, I'm in there. And on a cloudy day, I'm in the other, in my loft. My tree house, my tree fort. sunglasses. Somebody left them in my car. See, they're bifocal. Anyway, and I don't know who they are. Cat and Anchor, it came with me to the, to, um, Rhinebeck. And I'm not sure if anybody else has been in my car. Elida and the baby, but they don't wear bifocal sunglasses. Anyway, so if they're yours, let me know. I love you guys so much. You mean so much to me. I just can't express it. You really give me meaning in my days. I, I'm out and I think, now what should I say today? Is there anything I should say to anybody? Is there anything I can do to help somebody's burden be lighter? Or, you know, maybe some days it's just, hmm, let's just catch up. Anyway, <coughs> I've always, I've always felt that winter was no color. Oh my gosh! Wow, what was that? That must have been a coyote. I've never seen one like that. It was a beautiful yellowish red. Big, big fluffy tail. I would have thought it was an oversized fox. Wow, that was beautiful. <clears throat> anyway, I was going to say, if I can remember before I interrupt myself again. Hello, it's Nancy today. Um, oh yes, colors in winter. You know, the muted colors of winter. I've always thought that it's very colorless. White sky, white ground, black trees. they're gray trees. And I said that to somebody the other day. I was very thrilled with the response. She said, 
Oh no, I love the colors of winter. It's so colorful, the blues. <clears throat> well, when the sun shines, it's different. All the, all the shadows are blue. I guess the shadows are probably always blue, but we don't see them against the against this um, different colored earth. <coughs> so I'm looking today at the muted colors. It is negative eight. It was negative ten a little while ago. Celsius. I don't know. Figure it out. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Um, the muted colors of winter. When the I guess that's what they are. I mean, she didn't say muted, she said beautiful. But I'm realizing that they are very, um, what is the word? Faint? No, light? Or not pastel? Muted? They're kind of, well, browns and greens and grays. The trees are gray. You know, when we were little, we always painted trees with the brown crayon should have used a gray crayon because they're certainly not brown. I love the brown color in the crayon box. That was the best color. It's a beautiful brown. Kind of a reddish brown. Now I don't know what the real brown is. But that was a wonderful brown. I've always thought that was the real brown. Broke off my fingernail last night and fell away in bed and lost it. Glad I was sleeping because it might have hurt. Well, would you like to... <coughs> Would you like to see where I'm going? Alright, we'll do that. <coughs> <coughs>